a very good morning to all my dear students students we have already started our social studies chapter 8 india states and union territories india is a vast country it is the seventh largest country in the world and is located in the continent of asia so to govern such a huge country india is divided into smaller units called as states and union territories india is also home to diverse geographical features such as the land form water bodies climate soil and vegetation india is divided into 29 states and seven union territories as you know delhi is the capital of india every state and union territory has its own capital let's take a recap other important cities in particular state like maharashtra in maharashtra pune nagpur and nashik are important cities then in gujarat ahmedabad surat baroda and rajkot are important cities karnataka mysore mangaluru hampi are important cities madhya pradesh indore gwalior ujjain jabalpur are important cities old and new name cities in india mumbai was bombay kolkata was calcutta chennai was madras tiruvananthapuram was trivandrum then our next point is climate the climate of india varies greatly because of its geographical location india's climate can be broadly divided into three main seasons summer season monsoon season and winter season firstly we'll take information about summer season summer in india starts from april and extends till june hot dry winds called as loo dust storms are also common during this time of the year the states of punjab haryana delhi uttar pradesh bihar odisha summer then monsoon season monsoon season begins from mid june by mid july most of the states of india experience moderate to high rainfall however the monsoon season in india is full of uncertainties yes sometimes it rains heavily causing floods which destroy the crops sometimes the rainfall is so scanty that there is a drought cyclones also hit the states like odisha andhra pradesh and tamil nadu then winter season winter sets in with a short days and a cold night the northern states like jammu kashmir himachal pradesh punjab uttarakhand and delhi experience a winter and tamil nadu kerala and karnataka enjoy moderate winter student then our next point agriculture india has a varied topography topography means the natural features of an area or land understood a variety of soils and different climatic conditions this has made it possible to grow different types of agricultural crops there are two main types of crops first one is food crops and the second one is cash crops food crops food crops are those crops which are grown for consumption consumption means for buying and using 
examples of food crops are rice and wheat understood then the next one is cash crops cash crops are crops which are grown for sale in order to make profit for example coffee tea rubber cash crops are those crops we can say which is grown to sell for profit crops can also be categorized into plantation crops uh, horticulture crops tea and coffee are plantation crops while fruits such as mangoes apples peach vegetables such as okra okra means lady finger okay potato and cauliflower are some horticulture crops horticulture means the art or a practice of garden cultivation understood students see this table carefully it is in your textbook also okay list the major food and cash crops of india crop wheat states in which the crop is grown so mostly wheat crop is grown in punjab haryana western uttar pradesh and madhya pradesh then rice andhra pradesh odisha tamil nadu west bengal assam punjab and haryana then maize karnataka andhra pradesh uttar pradesh bihar maharashtra madhya pradesh gujarat and tamil nadu millets karnataka andhra pradesh gujarat madhya pradesh and rajasthan then sugarcane states in which the crop is grown uttar pradesh maharashtra bihar and tamil nadu pulses madhya pradesh bihar jharkhand uttar pradesh gujarat and tamil nadu then oil seeds madhya pradesh rajasthan haryana maharashtra and tamil nadu jute west bengal odisha assam and bihar cotton gujarat maharashtra punjab andhra pradesh rajasthan madhya pradesh and tamil nadu tea assam west bengal parts of tamil nadu then coffee karnataka tamil nadu and kerala spices kerala and karnataka dear student this is your today's homework you have to write this table in your notebook properly and you have to learn it also